you. Whatever. All right. Um, so, um, we got uh, Joe Swanson's Funniest Moments Part 2. Mm, okay. Let's go. Now that you made Santa mad, aren't you scared he's going to do something bad to you? Ah, Santa's all talk. He ain't going to do nothing. Hey, Peter. Ready to go to Build-A-Bear? What? What are you talking about? I got your text. It says, hey, Joe, cancel your plans. Let's go to Build-A-Bear. I didn't send you a... Oh, son of a bitch, Santa. Joe, I did not send you a text. Well, you sent another text that says, hey, Joe, it's definitely me, Peter, who sent the text. Damn it. He covered all bases. What do you think, Peter? Maybe a little sun hat for Cindy? Whatever, I'm done with my bear. Let's get out of here. Well, the text you sent earlier would disagree. You said, no matter what I say, I want to build multiple bears. Joe, I swear to you, I do not want to do that. Newsflash, Peter. Looks like you do. Quick, he's distracted. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. What's that now? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. Always bet on black. Always bet on black. <laughs> you say something? I don't think so. Double trouble. <laughs> That's it. We found it. Oh, that allows the plane to fly itself when I need a break. Wait, what do you mean a break? You don't have to fly the plane? Of course I do. I just take a short break sometimes. Short break? It looks like you had time to put together the 10,000-piece Lego Hogwarts. You don't have to touch it, Joe. You can just say you noticed it. And what's this booth over here? Oh, that's my back-in-time box. I go inside, magically go back in time, and then come out and react to the fact that we're flying. Yes. By God, we're levitating! That's just a box full of costumes. It's my back-in-time box! <laughs> what the hell, Quagmire? So, so basically, your job is just goofing off. That's not uh... true. I broke Gandalf in half. It's Dumbledore. Screw you guys. You know, being a pilot is hard work. Look, I tried to be nice and take you fellas on a free trip, and all you could do is crap all over my job. I was a Navy pilot, you jerks. Get the hell out of my cockpit. <laughs> Joke's on him. I fried it just before he kicked us out. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Practice. Peter, you know this is a pilot's uniform. It represents years of specialized training. Yeah, well, you know what else takes years of specialized training? Crossing your eyes. Stupid. <laughs> ah, 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 too far! Too far! <laughs> what the hell? Thank you, Korean sweatshop animator. You've earned your nickel this week. Where are you coming from, Quagmire? I had to fly to Aruba, so I brought my mom along with my friends and family discount. Did you? Yes, Joe, I got you a magnet. Where do you even put all those magnets, Joe? Well, you know I have that fridge in the garage with bags of blood and my blood type. <laughs> What's friends and family? Oh, airline employees can get discounted tickets for family and close friends. What? How, how come you never done that for us? If I'm being honest, I've also got a few Celeste pizzas in that fridge. I don't know. I, I guess I just figured you guys always have to work, or you're with your kids, but jury, I could take you somewhere. I'm going to San Francisco next week. You guys want to come? San Francisco? That city from And the Band oh, Played On and on Milk? Plane. I'm in. Yeah, thanks, Quagmire. Oh, wow, this would be great. Hey, can you make us X-Men? <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Go with the guys. Okay, I'm off to Hilton Head with the girls. That's the only what? Peter, I told you about this a month ago. I'm going with Bonnie and Donna to Donna's sister's timeshare. Well, we can't both go on a trip at the same time. I'm sorry, Peter, but I already have a taxi waiting. <sighs> All right, I'll go tell the guys I'm not going. Why is he taking his suitcase to tell the guys? You guys, come on, we gotta go now. Let's go, move it. <laughs> I'm in the shower. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're stealing Lois's cab. Why do you want me to damn. get us into this yeah, prison? Like because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilets. We are gonna get so wasted. Uh. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... No! Nice Chardonnay. The best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. <laughs> the man who made it, Curtis Murder Dog Williams, went on to become one of America's most celebrated vintners. Hey, Joe here. Peter's lying. He drank pee-pee. <laughs> Special delivery from the U.S. of A. Oh, rats. My bullets are in my shaving kit. Get off my pl Double trouble. Sorry.
Come on, man. <laughs> you know, I've lost a ton in Vegas, but I never thought I'd lose my life there. Did you just think of that? Yeah, just now. Uh, you know, you are seriously funny, man. I know I crap on you a lot, but sometimes when I'm driving, I think about stuff you say and I laugh. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> no, thank you. Podcast time. We got the equipment nice and the moment. perfect business plan. Give our show away for free and tell no one how to find it. Ready? <laughs> hey there, the net. Welcome to the first episode of Thanks for the Clamories. I'm here with Glenn Quagmire. Hi. Cleveland Brown. And... Hello. <laughs> and Joe Swanson. Yelza. All right, Quagmire, what do you got for us? Let's make a clamory. Okay, this is yes or no. Y you ready, Peter? Yes or no? French toast. Yes. French fries. Yes. French kissing. I, I don't know. These questions are weird. Okay, okay, someone else. Cleveland. Yes or no? <laughs> Velcro shoes. Hmm, Velcro shoes. Ooh, wee, this is a tough one. I remember the first time I saw me a pair of crows. They were on the feet of Spunky Tessic. Man, they was dandies. Every time we played touch football, Spunky would step in a pile of dog poo. You can wash a shoe, but you can't really wash a lace. That's why Spunky made the change. That's the thing about Velcro shoes. <laughs> Quiet going on, noisy coming off. That rip! Spunky's mama thought he was an intruder. Shot him right in the face. Had an open casket at the funeral, but only open on the middle part. To this day, every time I see a pile of dog do, I take a step in it just for Spunky. So to answer the question, I'm going to have to say both yes and no. <sighs> all right, that's all the time we get. I'd like to thank our sponsor, the U.S. Postal Service. When you want something expensive thrown on your porch and stolen, you want the U.S. Postal Service. What the hell was that? I know, Cleveland, you ruined the whole podcast. Yeah, if I wanted to hear a black guy ramble like a lunatic, I'd watch Family Feud. Yeah, I mean, I was... You know, this is exciting. Our second podcast. All right, but listen up, Cleveland. No more of your long stories, all right? Yeah, people aren't used to boring podcasts. Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose they ought to call me Jelly, because sometimes I get on a roll. That, that, n none of that. Welcome once again to Thanks for the Clamories. Okay, common question that everybody thinks about. How many fourth graders do you think you could take at once? What? I mean, obviously, if you had to fight against a million fourth graders, you'd lose. So, like, what's, what's the real number? Like, what's the legitimate number of fourth graders that you could successfully take on? Let's say 100. That sounds reasonable. Oh, no way. 100 and you're dead. Why are we fighting now? Because they're idiots. Did they say something about my mother? What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say yes. Oh, then a baker's dozen. What kind of weapons? Only what's available in the schoolyard. You could really mess up some kids with a chain from a swing. Just da 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 da. I tell you what I'd do. I'd back into a bathroom stall and just start kicking. Dead. 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 Keep coming. Dead. Give him a narrow entry point. Make him come in single file. Dead. Dead. Anyway, I, I guess I'm trying to say 800 fourth graders. Why are we talking about killing kids? Damn. People are gonna hate this. Peter, do something else quick. I, I'll. Uh, uh, what if I play some kick-ass music? You got to know when the whole... Kick-ass? This is not kick-ass. Wait, yeah, hang on, hang on. I'll find something. You're playing two songs at once. What even is this? I, I, I don't know. I'm just pressing buttons. I gotta admit, it does have a groove. Look, those people are even dancing to it. Every camper knows that the secret to surviving... Ah, great. I accidentally started Chris's birth video. <laughs> Hey. hey, guys, Damn. I don't know if you've heard, but I've gone deaf. You what? What? Oh, your ear crippled? I can't hear you, Joe. Here's a bag of alphabets. Please spell out what you're saying. There's no L's. By the way, I ate all the L's. They're delicious. They're my favorite ones. What are you talking about? They all taste the same. What? Why don't you just text it to him? You know, that's a good idea. What the hell do you want? You told us... You were a big shot DJ and didn't want anything to do with us. I don't think he can hear it. Oh, son of a bitch, look at your phone! Oh, what do I want? Uh, the Electric Clam Festival's coming up and I need your help. Now that I'm deaf, I can't do it without you guys. Forget it, you told us to go to hell. Well, now you can go to hell. Ah, oh, great, thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. No, we said no. What? Okay, but hold on. I got four quarters on golden <laughs> tea. Yeah. How am I doing? Good job, Joe. Hole in one. He just keeps switching clubs. <laughs> oh, I got fired from the club. Hey, what's with your voice? Did you get your hearing back? Oh, yeah. It turns out it wasn't the loud music at the clubs that made me go deaf. 
It was the fistfuls of Oxycontin. Well, that stinks about your DJ job. Sorry it didn't work out for you. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Shit. I just appreciate that you guys were there for me and tried to help me out. Especially after I've been such a jerk to you. Well, it's good to have you back to normal, Peter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm up on Big Buck Hunter. Did I get him? Oh, yeah, you got him all, Joe. We didn't even put quarters in the game. He don't know. <laughs> the violin. It's kind of like my new hobby. Well, if we're talking about new hobbies... What is it? It's a mason jar filled with layered sand. You can put it in your bathroom or anywhere you want to feel peaceful. Now it's nothing. Yeah, no offense, muchacho, but uh, I don't know if I have time for that, muchacho. Yeah, you're doing muchacho wrong. Come on, you know, there's four of us. We could be a string quartet. Uh, All right, I'll do it. But first, you guys got to do one thing for me. Sure, Joe, what is it? I want you to put me in the booth. I want to feel like a person for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, no problem. All right, Quagmire, you do upper, I'll do lower. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks, guys. Uh-oh. Hey, guys, guys, put him back up. I just thought of something. <laughs> this is going to be a blast. Peter, that was amazing. I know, those lessons really paid off. Oh, I'll say. Man. The way you play, we'll have more gigs than we can handle. Not a chance. Mr. Washy Washy took all the joy out of this. I hate the violin. I hate music. I hate life. And I'm never doing this again. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go drink a bunch of free booze and be a huge presence in the wedding photos. Oh, what a night. Late December back in 63. What a very special time for me. As I remember what a night. Oh, what a night. I got to say, some days I wish I didn't have a sister. <sighs> what? Nothing. Oh, I <laughs> thought you asked me what was going on with my sister. I did not. Uh... Yeah, hey, look, Tom Tucker. Good. That sucks we didn't get the castle. So what do we do now? Well, I'm looking at my calendar, and I blocked off the next two weeks for castle fun. Now those words seem stupid. Man, those losers don't deserve that castle. I would call my sister about this if she were able to answer the phone. Poor thing. Poor, poor thing. Well, you know, in castle times, if you wanted something, you just took it. What are you talking about? I'm saying the four of us should storm that castle and take it for ourselves. Should we do it with careful planning or have another couple beers and then just go for it? Well, let's make that decision after another couple beers. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Sorry, Peter, no time to talk. It's my day to shine. What? Yeah, handicapped person at the ballpark. Ramps, private escort, meet the team. Is there a Joe Swanson? <coughs> right here. <laughs> meet me at that sad balcony. How'd it go? <sighs> Fine, we'll pull over at Joe's. Bathrooms for customers only. <sighs> All right, how much is the gum? Four dollars. For gum? Go somewhere else. Fine. The bathroom code is 6648261035549. Could, could you could you say that again? You gotta buy another pack of gum. Six six four eight two six one zero three five five four nine. Okay, six six four eight two. What what's the rest? Here, let me have Tommy Two Tone sing it for you. Six six four eight two six one zero three five five four nine. Six six four eight two six one zero three five five four nine. I got it. He got it. I got it. Who the hell was that? Who the hell was that? Peter is an idiot. Feel sorry for Definitely. Joe. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know. He definitely has a, you know what I mean? This <laughs> nigga just wanted to sit in the booth like everybody else. <laughs> right. And feel like a regular person. <laughs> yeah. And Peter had to play the violin. <laughs> and the going down sound. Yeah. Poor Joe, man. poor Joe, poor Joe. <laughs> yeah, this nigga. Mm. You know, at least he got, I think he got a, his uh, hero's moment. 
when he took out them people on the plane. It looked like it was a, a hijacking on the plane or something. <laughs> this nigga took him out. What did he say? <laughs> he fucked it up. Whatever he was supposed to say, he fucked it up. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, you know, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was say you couldn't want better friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, you can get way better friends. Joe can get way better friends. This nigga Peter flipped his ass out the chair when he told him all this shit he was gonna do at the uh, at the tailgating. Yeah. This nigga said, "I'm gonna meet the meet team and free access to this and that." He said, "Joe Swanson, oh, ah, Peter, evil ass." Oh man, man. Damn. yeah, man. Yeah, I kind of must feel bad for Joe. He said he texted Bonnie the boss. And then this the thumbs down emotion. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why he does that. Leaves himself helpless like that, but, you know. Kind of is helpless. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to watch him with the spaghetti legs whenever he's out of his chair. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Family guy. Always finds you.